I first became introduced to the Women's Center and Shelter because I was attending a women's workshop uh, retreat at a church and Rhonda Fleming came and spoke and I just felt this urge that it's just something I have to do. I just have to go there because I need to help women in this situation. It's just such a horrible situation to be in. And so I actually awaited the training and when the training came and I was there at every session and halfway through, they were talking about some signs that you should be aware of and will let you know if you're in an abusive relationship and there I saw me. And I thought, wow, I do that. I keep my car keys close by when he's out. I don't go to bed. I stay dressed. And I thought, well, this is a revelation. So I left there knowing that I am in an abusive relationship, and it was an emotional abusive relationship. He didn't hit me, which is why, of course, I knew about physical. So I thought, well, this is interesting. I go for one reason, and I find myself the victim. I go home, and I think about this, but I don't leave. I don't leave for two or three years. It wasn't all the time. It wasn't, I don't know, I don't know what, I mean, I, I needed to say that I was comfortable for one thing. I had a really nice place to live and I didn't work at the time. Life was okay when he wasn't crazy. Um, he was a, a former uh, war vet when he had some issues from that. And so trying to get help, that didn't make a difference. And so I stayed. I was always uncomfortable and that's why I kept um, my keys in, in handy. The thing about emotional abuse is when it's a physical abuse, the scars are visible. We see them. You see women with scars, and you, you see that they've got their arm broken. You see these things, but the emotional scars, they're within. And what happens is that women's self-esteem is often just diminished, and you begin to think that nobody will want you because you're fat, you're ugly, you don't have... Whatever it is that he's saying to you, uh, you begin to think, hmm... I guess I need to stay here because who's going to accept me? I'm I'm damaged goods, and, and he's probably right. I mean, every, you know, he keeps saying it. He must be right. Um, I'm no longer in that relationship, but it wasn't because I made the initial move. It was because he asked for a divorce one day. And I took that as a God move, actually, because I thought, I, you know, I know he loves me, but it wasn't enough. The interesting thing was that in talking to his mother and, and understanding that his father was very much like him, he was a great financial supporter but he was abusive. And my husband had told me that his father was abusive. And so it was sort of like a learned behavior. I can provide well, but that emotional baggage that he wasn't willing to get rid of. And I actually asked him, why do, why do you drink? Why do you do this? And he said, because I like it. <laughs> That's good. And, and, you know, you like that more than you love me. But at that point, um, I wasn't ready to leave. And I, don't, I, I think the important thing is, is that people need to understand that a woman knows when she can leave. Um, some women are threatened that if they leave, and that was a situation with my mother-in-law. He told her for 50 years that if she ever left him and told her kids that he would kill her. I think that men mean that when they say that, and so she stayed and for 50 years. She was 70 when she left. He said something one day, and she said, okay, that's it. He said, you can leave, and at that moment, she made the phone call. So a lot of it is learned behavior. Um, so. Seeing myself there, I understood so much when I got finished with this training why women don't leave, because I didn't leave. And sometimes you just have to know when it's time for you to leave, and nobody can tell another woman when that time is. I came to the Women's Center and Shelter, um, and I found myself, we could say. I found me. And I couldn't let go of the Women's Center and Shelter either, and so I keep coming back. I keep coming back, and um, I volunteer uh, when I can. If I had to do it again, I would, I would again leave. I mean, that was my opening, and I don't regret uh, not having the big house and the easy access to money. The peace of mind and feeling safe was just much more important.